once again I'm gonna do a rant and a drink combo should we grab our potion time glass we shall oh look at that we got 99 proof butterscotch Alcohol is for 21 and up. That's why I age-restricted the video in compliance with YouTube and social media's algorithm and rules. And speaking of social media, this rant is going to be on the hypocrisy of social media. So let's have a drink. Butterscotch. So, I hope you all having a fantastic 24 days of Christmas. Happy Holidays. I got me some tactical soap to hand out for the holidays. Most definitely, what the freak is up. Now, yeah. so we got some butterscotch. Some uh, 99 proof root beer. Oh shit. Now, one of my fans messaged me. So, one that root beer. One of my fans was defending me on Facebook and he called my trolls fucking pathetic because they are. My trolls are beyond fucking pathetic. It's just laughable as shit. And, uh... Yes. Some 99 proof root beer. And to top it off, some Fireball. Some Fireball whiskey. I like... Fireball whiskey, it's delicious. It tastes like those uh, cinnamon jawbreakers that I had from when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got our rants and we got our drink combo. So we got some Fireball. Some 99 proof butterscotch and some 99 proof root beer. There it is. Cheers. Now, I had a dream last night that I was hanging out with a cute goth chick in Europe and I was at this cathedral with two big ass clock towered bell towers and I was ringing like two of the bells via the rope as part of a tourist attraction. It was a really cool and rather interesting dream. Hmm. I, I pulled the rope on one of the bells in my dream and I remember saying to myself out loud in the dream, this is the kind of bell sound I want for my clock towered mansion. Like the one that I'd pull on a rope. I would have 48 bells in my clock tower, 47 would be on a carillon, and then the 48th bell would be on a rope swung bell with a wheel. I'd have a black and green sally and a hemp rope. Beautiful. Let's try a drink of this. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Why do I hold the drink in my mouth before swallowing it? I want to get a taste of it before I drink it. Simple as that. I don't criticize everyone else the way they drink. But I get so much crap for holding the alcohol in my mouth before drinking it. Like, hey, dick shit. Holding it in your mouth gets you drunk quicker and you can savor the taste of it. A uh, duh. But yes, I've experienced the hypocrisy of social media more times than I can count. 
Now, I can remember on Valentine's Day a couple of years back, I uh, put on my neon green cock holster. Age restricted the video. And then I told the fans, I said, if I get 50 bucks, I'll do a dance in my cock holster for YouTube. And that Valentine's Day, they delivered. I got 50 bucks in my PayPal, which is pretty sweet. I danced around in my cock holster and I shredded some guitar while in my underwear. YouTube age restricted the video, even though it was already age restricted. Then they just decided to take it down and give my account a flag. So my account got flagged for that video. Which, and they're like, this goes against our sexual policy on YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, kiss my ass, YouTube. And then I saw, I shit you not, naked news, naked yoga. There were chicks who were fully naked on YouTube, and that's totally okay. Even though there's no nudity allowed on YouTube. I think they were just big dick shaming, to be honest. He cut forward to the present time, all puns not intended, because it's the holidays. Eh. Um, my, my fan got a uh, two-week ban on Facebook for defending me against the trolls. That's pretty fucking bullshit, if you ask me. That was a tasty drink combo. I can get down with that. No, like, YouTube and Facebook and all that, they claim to be about free speech. But as soon as you say certain words, your account gets banned. No, it's, it's, it's lame, dude. It really is. If you got nothing better to do than, you know what I'm saying? You got nothing better to do than attack a 30-year-old autistic. Your life is pathetic. Here in a bit, I might go down to uh, Albertsons and get some beer or whatever. One Christmas shout out to a memorial photo prints. Thank you, uh, Brandon, for the $20. But I hope you all have a fantastic whatever day it is, Wednesday, Thursday. But yeah, the hypocrisy of social media makes my fucking head spin. And not complaining, but I've seen some hot of age chicks wearing see-through swimsuits. And you could practically see their nipples and everything. Which I'm not complaining because, hey, you know. Got a hot of age female YouTuber with some nice titties. Yeah, buddy. But at the same time, it's like, dude. I wear a cock holster on YouTube and my shit gets flagged. By some jealous trolls who wish they had a cock as nice as mine. And the algorithm picks up on it and says, your account has been banned for two weeks. Because I got a two-week ban on YouTube for that stupid Valentine's Day video. Hmm. But it is what it is. And where does YouTube and Facebook get off on their hypocrisies? Picking favorites. That's what, that's what it's all about. It's all about picking favorites. Because King Cobra JFS can be a controversial figure sometimes. That's why they, they did that. 
And I'm not being controversial just for controversy's sake. I'm actually trying to start up a couple of conversations here about the way our society acts. But we can't talk about the problems. No, 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 no. You talk about the problems. That the, the, you talk about the problems that the man and that uh, freaking Facebook and YouTube have a problem with, and they censorship your ass. Fuck that. If you're just tuning in, having a drink, we got uh, root beer, ninety nine proof, some butterscotch, ninety nine proof. And some fucking fireball. Look at that. Yes. Poured all three into my glass. My potion time glass. Isn't that pretty? That'll be enough to wet my whiskers. And there's a lot of controversial shit going on in our society right now. And yeah, I'm the fucking asshole. I will be getting a new Apple computer here soon. I have enough money saved up in a separate account. And my parents are going to chip in for it just a little bit. And I'll be able to start making mu music again. Got to get Satan's bell done. I'm going to have to re-record. Like. A couple of the songs. That's like the only album I don't have on my phone. Is what it is. Gotta re record Satan's Bell. I don't want to change the world, the world can't change me. And the song Misery. It is what it is. It is what it is. My Ava Grande metal sound is catching some ears, man. Mixing like my th my favorite genres of metal and rock into like one sound. But that's not the topic. No, the hypocrisy of social media pisses me off. It pisses me off. I can't dance around in the neon green cock holster for my of age fangirls. Without it being taken as sexual content. But women can do yoga buck ass naked or do naked news on YouTube. Here's a thought. Let's stop sexualizing the human form. There's a thought. Stop sexualizing the adult body. Because unless there's unless there's sex involved, how is it sexualizing? It's the truth. Females get overly sexualized in our society. It is what it is. Yeah, oh, wait. I'm feeling the drink already, dude. A little 
Rumbly warm in my tumbly, yes. Ooh. But yeah, I'm tired of social media's hypocrisy. I like making videos and entertaining my fans. The support and the cult love I have is real. That's the only reason why I still stay on YouTube uh, anymore. Because I've had it up to here with that bullshit on, on, on fucking YouTube and shit. I, I was literally the, the generation, my generation of people witnessed the birth of the internet. Shit, you're not. I'm a 90s baby. Don't get me wrong. The internet is pretty freaking sweet. You can be entertained for hours just watching cat videos on YouTube or going through TikTok or what have you. But the downside of the internet is that nobody gives a shit if you're getting bullied. Even though they say they do. YouTube likes to say they give a fuck about bullying, but they really don't. It just looks better on paper. Now, the CEO Susie of YouTube, if her kid was getting bullied, those accounts bullying her kid would be shut down so quickly. But some run, some run-of-the-mill random goth YouTuber like myself, who's only got like, what, 26,000 subs? They don't care. You want to restrict my freedom of speech but let bullying go on? Just shows you how much YouTube cares. I'll give you an example. Back when I lived in my old apartment, I made a video about this uh, Milo person or Milo, whatever. They, them, identified as non-binary and as transgender. Not here to judge them for that. Even though calling a person they, that, it, them, it seems a bit dehumanizing to call someone a them, but that's what they want, so, you know what I'm saying, shit. Crazy fucking world we live in these days. But anyway, long story short, Milo, Milo, how, however they pronounce their name, made a video calling everyone homophobic, transphobic, and sexist, and misogynistic, and racist, and all these other ists, and obias, and what have you. And I made a video responding to that, saying, hey, look, Milo, Milo, you can't just assume people like that. You want to get pissed off when people make assumptions about you, yet here you are assuming everyone else. You're a hypocrite. And then I, and then I left it at that. And people didn't like that. They were like, oh, Cobra telling it like it is. My feelings are hurt. Wah. So then they flagged the video on that was taken as an attack. And I wasn't attacking anyone. I was just telling it like it is. Long story short. My account got banned for a couple days for making that video. So, like, I see how this is. If you identify as trans or non-binary or what have you, you can pretty much say whatever the fuck you want and no one's going to say shit for the most part. But if you identify as cisgender, straight, for, for the opposite sex that's of age, and you also identify as white, your, 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 your freedom of speech is getting restricted because you're straight, white, and cisgender it's the truth and the only reason that is is because karma is a bitch white people primarily straight white people have been the cause for a lot of these issues that gays lgbtq trans blacks and oh, god damn it one second okay straight white men have caused persecution for blacks, women's, minorities, trans, gays, etc., which is bullshit.
But just because we give all these individuals rights doesn't mean it's okay to take away the rights of straight white people. I, I feel like it's kind of hypocritical, especially when the other side's always about, like you hear all the gays and the blacks and everyone else, the trans and everyone going, we want equality. And I'm all for it. You want equality? I'm down with that as far as that goes, as far as like your race and all that. However, it's not very equal if we start taking away the rights of other people just because those other people historically have, you know what I'm saying? At some point, it's just like straight white people and we, we need to check our privilege and everybody else needs to learn to forgive. I mean, it's Christmas for fuck's sake. Yeah. Grab my Dodge Charger. See what I did there? I made a car joke. Uh, one second. Beep. To quote Ozzy Osbourne's dreamer, when will all this anger, hate, and begandry be gone? Cheers. Now sometimes sometimes I listen to Ozzy Osbourne because it's therapeutic. Music has a way of doing that when you're sad or depressed. When I found out about the shooting in Michigan, dude, I'm so tired of mass shootings. And I blasted Ozzy Osbourne's Dreamer to kind of help me cope with what I was feeling at the time. No, it's bullshit. I'm fucking tired of mass shootings more than I am tired of all the hypocrisy on social media and with our fucking society, with our government, and with everyone in general. If you smoke pot, you're a drug addict, but here, if you have a headache, take an aspirin. Don't smoke pot, it's a gateway drug. To what? Taco Bell? Seriously. I found the empty Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme packets in your trash. You want to tell me about something? I'm just holding those for a friend. Bullshit, I know you're smoking pot or drinking alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Jokes aside. How to tell if your kids are smoking pot and drinking alcohol? Do they have empty bags of Taco Bell in their room? <laughs> in their trash, like... I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, shit balls. On a side note, if Taco Bell took their toasted cheddar chalupa shell and mixed it with their nacho cheese Doritos Loco Supreme tacos and then put, like some cheddar and nacho cheese in between the Dorito shell and the toasted cheddar chalupa shell. And then they added bacon to it and called it a toasted cheddar bacon quesalupa. Taco Bell, you'd have customers out the door. I saw that KFC brought back their double down in Canada. Lucky bastards. We're not here talking about delicious fast food. No, not at all. They're ranting about social media. And that's the thing of it. You can take a break from social media. 
sometimes I'll be honest with you. It feels good to take a break from social media sometimes. Just because you have a fucking Facebook account and an opinion doesn't mean you're right. Now, this, this is social media in a nutshell. You're watching YouTube videos on pickup trucks. And you, and you got classic pickup trucks varying from Chevy to Ford to Dodge, GMC, what have you. Someone comments in the comment section of the, that video, I like Ford pickup trucks. I think they're the best. If someone else gets so offended by that opinion, it's like, fuck you, faggot. Dodges are better. And then some dude from GMC says, you both are fucking gay. Chevys are better. And then someone else from the GMC fan group is like, fuck all of you. And then it just becomes this... This online comment section battle on your opinion on pickup trucks. I mean, it's stupid. So, like, I don't blame people for wanting to be like, you know what? Social media is getting too much. I'm taking a break. Can't say I blame you in the slightest because people suck, dude. When you're harassing chicks I went to high school with, or harassing people I know, you think to yourself, am I a little too invested into Cobra's life? Just saying. No, it's fucking hilarious. One of my trolls sent me a picture of this chick I used to go to high school with pretending to be her boyfriend. And they're like, I bet you wish you had a girlfriend like this. And I'm like, dude, one, I know you're not her boyfriend. Two, you need to leave her the fuck alone. And three, you wish you had a girl that hot. It was just one of those things where I was just like, insult the troll way worse than they, than they insult me and then block, delete, ignore. Magic is a beautiful thing, YouTube. It really is. Now, even though every chick I crush on tells me no, it's been like that my entire life, I'm still straight for of age women that are cisgendered biological and I still talk to them. It is what it is. It's just about your mindset, YouTube. I've learned to wait patiently, ever so patiently. And you realize that the frustrations on the dating scene, you're not the only one experiencing it, bro, huh? I learned to sympathize with my fellow human beings when I'm looking around going, shit. Everyone's complaining about the same shit. You got dudes and chicks who are like, why can't I find somebody? I'm like, dude, you either get a really nice sex toy and get over it, or you just keep trying. Those are your two options. 
because quitting is not an option. It's not. If you quit and give up on love, you're going to be miserable the rest of your life. You're going to be living your life for regrets, man, and you cannot give up. But that's neither here nor there. Just, you, you quit trying and you quit caring and see what happens. There's a lot of people on this planet, so I'm just saying. Oh yeah. That's good alcohol. You can't tell me that you don't hold the alcohol in your in your mouth just for a minute to savor the burn and the taste before swallowing it. Sometimes I do. You get a fucking dank ass drink combination. You're like, damn, I did good on this. Ooh, that's tasty. Like compared to like when Ozzy Osbourne was younger to like today, like Garage Band did not exist in Ozzy Osbourne's younger days. If you wanted to produce a record, you had to go through. You had to go through a, a record deal. You had to play like pubs and shit. Yeah. Which, if I got good enough at guitar, I play some local pubs. I thought about starting a band, but right now I'm, I'm liking the solo career. And shout out to Alex Ford from Deathbed Tapes. Most definitely, what's up? Who started his own record company slash label because he got inspired by my Cobra Craft handmade wands. He's a fan of my videos. He bought a couple of my wands. And he's like, hey. So that's that's kind of cool to be honest with you. Yeah. Isn't that just a pretty potion time glass? Look, 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 look. I got this from Teespring before they shut down my account. That's a crying shame because these were selling like hotcakes, dude. These pint time potion time glasses were selling like hotcakes, dude. And now these are collectibles amongst the fans. This is my, my, one of my favorite glasses to drink out of. It's potion time, baby. Yes. <sighs> Ooh, that burns good. Fireball whiskey, 99 proof butterscotch, and 99 proof root beer. That's actually not bad. The tastes of these three liqueurs, hard whiskey, whatever, it complements. Ooh. 
dude, I've made so many fucking drink combos that I can't keep track. <laughs> just, just... I'm a free-spirited mixologist by heart. And people are like, list of cocktails, and I'm over here like, fuck all that, do your own thing. And that's how I've come up with a lot of really tasty, tasty, um, alcoholic beverages. I'm actually what you would call a high-functioning alcoholic. I don't need it to have a good time, but I enjoy it. And I can hold my liquor. I get to the point where I'm passed out in my chair, and then that's when I know I've had too much. <laughs> yes. Which, if that's the worst that happens, then fuck off. Like, oh my god, Cobra passed out in his chair, what a fucking loser. I'm like, considering the fact that it's alcohol, man, it could be worse. Like, there are people out there who get drunk and beat their wives, and that shit pisses me off. I'm the kind of guy that when I get drunk, I turn into a smartass, and I tell it like it is. Which ends up pissing people off with my blunt honesty. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, uh. I have pledged loyalty to Danny Filth and Ozzy Osbourne with my knuckles and my Cradle of Filth band logo tattoo right there. Yes, sir, I love my tattoos. I am planning on getting more tattoos eventually. Just right now, I'm content with the four that I have. Yeah, if you want to get a tattoo, Black Sunday Tattoo Parlor is the best place in town to get a tattoo. They put the Cobra on my left arm, the Cradle of Filth band logo right here, and then they retouched my Oz knuckles. So, yeah, man, freaking. <laughs> Dude, my girlfriend at the time, Summer, she'd only tattooed three other people prior to myself. So I knew it wasn't going to be the most professional. I knew it was probably going to fade, but I wanted to support my girlfriend <clears throat> at the time. My girlfriend, Summer, who was of age and what have you. Yeah. In fact, Summer was older than me, but not by, not by much. And she had to retouch it twice, but it still faded. And I didn't care. I had some Aussie knuckles, and I had a girlfriend that was of age, and I was happy. Now, the only reason Summer broke up with me is because she couldn't handle dating a YouTube celebrity, and I'm like, that's honestly Summer's loss, because I gave that relationship 110%. I, know, I got so much crap for dating a chick with really short hair, and I didn't care. People call me a faggot for dating her, and I'm like, joke's on you, I've seen her naked. She's definitely cisgendered female. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how time just flies. At this point, if people are like, you could win the lottery and build your dream house or end your dry spell. I like I'm like, oh, I'd rather win the lottery and build my dream house. Real talk. 
believe me, my YouTube channel would fucking get way more entertaining if I built my clock tower dream house. That 48 bell clock tower, you'd see me playing songs on my carillon. Yes. Which, I'm not gonna lie, the carillon's my favorite musical instrument. Next to the electric guitar, followed by harps. Those are my top three favorite musical instruments. Carillons, electric guitar, and harp. And speaking of harp, you gotta check out the harp twins. Those chicks are bad the fuck ass, dude. I'm not gonna try to pronounce their first names because they're from Europe and Lord knows I'll butcher it, but... Yeah, dude, the Harp Twins are badass. I don't care. Dude, 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 seriously, seriously. You wanna be, you, you like Harp music? Check out the Harp Twins. They're fucking awesome. And they're kinda cute, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Good Lord. I'm not gonna try anything because you know how it is, dude. Like, come on. But I'm just saying. You leave you you read these chicks repertoire of talents that they have and it's like damn these chicks are uh pretty badass. Oh look look at Cobra with his fancy vocabulary. See people think I'm an idiot, but I'm a lot smarter than you think. And if people perceive me as stupid because I'm autistic, that helps me blend into society a lot easier as some kind of fucking retard who's just autistic. And if people want to assume that, well, that's their problem, not mine. I love my potion time glass. I do, I do, I do. And it sucks that Teespring shut down my account because fucking these potion time glasses were selling like hotcakes. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Cobra, I want to buy some of your merch. You check out the uh, customized girl link in my description box. That t-shirt store is still available. Yes. You can get a whiskey flask with the Cobra Craft Handmade Wands logo on the front of it. Most definitely what's up. And if you can't afford merchandise or wands this time of year, I get it. I totally understand. I appreciate the support that I do get. How many people watching this shit? 123, yeah, buddy. 39 likes, get it. Mama's gonna worry, I've been a bad, bad boy. No you saying sorry. <laughs> It's something that I can't hide, yeah. Come now, here we go now, here we go now. <laughs> like my main two drugs of choice are cannabis and alcohol. I do the occasional shrooms when I can afford it and when I can find it. But. My main two are marijuana and alcohol. The combination of getting drunk and stoned is just fucking amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. I fucking self-medicate for my autism. I would rather take alcohol, weed, or tobacco over Zoloft. Yeah. 
45 minutes long. Should we, should we go for a 48 minute plus stream? I think we should. Give people their King Cobra fix. Yes. Because when people start becoming hooked on your boy's videos like it's a drug, I'm doing something right. In newsflash, no one cares that I smoke pot because I'm autistic and I'm a badass mother trucker. So your efforts to ruin my life are wasted, much like me after a couple of joints and some alcohol. <laughs> Except I'm the one having a good time and you're not. Your whole fucking miserable life revolves around trying to ruin Cobra because you're so unhappy with your own goddamn life. No, when I got kicked out of my old apartment via term of lease after t a, a decade of loyal, very loyal, paying my rent, I prayed to Lucifer, my Lord and Savior, for a better apartment and... Oh, and Lucifer delivered. Thank you, Lucifer. Cheers, brother. <sighs> now, my trolls, they submitted a bunch of false uh, complaints to my previous landlord. Because none of my neighbors at my old apartment had a problem with me. And well, my ex-landlord, she uh, decided to term my lease after 10 plus years of loyal service. So as soon as she did, I scrubbed and cleaned the fuck out of my old apartment. After cleaning it spotless, I repainted it. And then ripped out the carpet so she wouldn't have to because she was going around and replacing it with hardwood floors and shit. So, yeah. So, yeah, my trolls have a history of doing some really fucked up shit to me and it hasn't worked. I'm still doing my thing. And it just makes the trolls look desperate as fuck. And it just shows you that Cobra wins and that I rule the trolls' lives. Otherwise, they wouldn't try so hard. Like, Cobra's not famous, but every time I try to do something, just breathing fucking triggers these assholes. And it's fucking hilarious how much control... See, I can't control what my trolls do, but I can't control how I react to it. And if I choose to ignore it and just play it off as stupid, immature bullshit, they'll get the same reaction they want. Which is why I'd like to blame the dude yelling at me at Frosty's. I blame him for the, the circumstances. Because if he would have ignored it, the bartender at Frosty's that night didn't even give me shit about it. She was just like... Eh, your trolls are dicks. It's whatever. It's Halloween. I don't care. Cobra's not causing any trouble. He's just having a picture. Even when I asked to have another picture, you saw that on stream. They were like, oh, we're closing. I'm like, oh, that's just fine. You have a great night. I was super polite, super professional. And the dude come over to my table to fucking yell at me and sh shit. 
that only encouraged the trolls and made it worse. And that dude that yelled at me at Frosty's is actually a dude who works there. He's a cook, and he pretty much spends all his time working there and then getting off work and getting drunk and starting shit with people. It's not a good look, dude. And I've known the current owner since she was a patron there, and I'm, it's just kind of sad, to be honest, and I'm going to leave it at that. When Alex Anderson died, she was right there like, what, really? And I'm like, yeah, is what it is. And I've never had drama or any troubles at Frosty's prior to Halloween nights. And if the actions that transpired happened, that's really Frosty's loss, to be honest. I've been going to that bar for well over a decade. I've given them plenty of advertisement on my channel. When people come to town to visit King Cobra, the first thing they'll do is stop at Frosty's and order a Cobra's Mist. That should, you know, and, and, and that's just it, like... You know what I'm saying, you two? That, that's kind of bullshit how it played out, so... It is what it is. It just shows you my trolls have no lives. And the only thing the trolls are good at is sucking my cock. I can't control how the trolls treat me. All I can do is control how, how I react to it. And believe me, when you keep a calm, level head about it and you just pretty much ignore it, all it's going to do is piss them off and make them try harder. And you just keep that attitude. And eventually they're like, it's not working. What are we doing with our sad fucking lives? Trolling an autistic 30-year-old who's got more love and support than we do? Well, shit. The jealousy is strong with this one. Hmm? Jealousy is strong with this one, hmm? Totally made a Star Wars reference with that, and I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. Honestly, my trolls are nothing but internet goons, and they're fucking pathetic, dude. They are beyond fucking pathetic. If my trolls got harassed like I did, they wouldn't be able to take it. They'd probably off themselves or quit social media. You gotta think, how miserable is that person's life for them to be like, I don't care if he's 30 years old and autistic. I'm gonna harass him and everything he does and critique everything he does. From the way he looks, to the way he breathes, to the way he drinks his alcohol. It's beyond fucking sad. I'm like, you know what, maybe you should, you should critique yourselves because I'm not doing anything bad here. I'm just sitting here having a drink, bullshitting the breeze, ranting about YouTube and Facebook and social media's hypocrisy. Should go for an hour long? Yeah, I think I might. I'll just go until my drink's empty. <laughs> yeah. I have like one shooter of peppermint schnapps left in the fridge. I appreciate the fans for sending me the shooters in the mail. Most definitely what's up. And happy holidays. I got a gift for my trolls this Christmas season. I want to give my trolls some sleigh bells because I'm slaying trolls all year round. <laughs> yeah. You think the celebrities I look up to don't get haters? Come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. You think Danny Filth and Ozzy Osbourne don't get haters? Come on. Dude, it's the truth. Oh, you're satanic, you're evil, you're brainwashing the youth, and I'm just like... Satan's not the bad guy. Jesus wasn't so righteous. Good and evil exists in society.
The society is the one that's evil. Satan's just misunderstood. Yeah, dude, I was savoring the taste of the alcohol. That's what I do when I hold it in my mouth. I'm savoring the taste of the alcohol before swallowing it. I think it's a cultured way to drink. You're not just sitting there slamming it as quickly as you can. You take a moment to sip it and appreciate the complex notes of the alcohol. And a butterscotch, 99 proof, root beer, 99 proof, and fireball whiskey. That's not that bad. That's quite interesting, actually. It's, yeah, it's not bad. That's the cool thing about getting shooters in the mail or just like getting some shooters at the liquor store, you can mix and match and create your own drink combos that are adult friendly, of course. Wait till you're old enough to drink alcohol. It's worth the wait. Wait till you're 21 and up or however old the law requires you to be. Uh, uh, uh. Fifty seven minutes. Uh, oh, shit balls. Appreciate y'all tuning in to the live stream. Listening to me drink and bitch about social media. And like between society getting fucking crazier and stupider by the minute, and social media being full of hypocrisy, it's just like I take a break from social media and just do my thing. So if you don't see me on social media for the next couple of days, don't worry, I'll be back. It's the holidays. Cobra deserves a break too. But I'll be back. Yes, sir, I'll be back. Forty-two likes, one hundred and forty-nine views. Bitchin'. We're at 58 minutes and 27 seconds. As soon as it hits 60, it's going to be an hour. Just an hour of me drinking and bitching and moaning and groaning. And it could be worse. You know what I'm saying, YouTube? It could be worse. If I start to bitch about my four-year dry spell or the fact that I have my own struggles... I stop and think to myself, you know, it could be worse. There were dudes out there who have never had sex and they're like in their 30s. So it's kind of like it could be worse. And you know what? There were more important things than sex and making out and having a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Having a personality is, and being a likable person is more important than getting laid. But being a likable person is challenging because you can't please everyone. You're not going to like everyone you meet, and everyone that you meet's not going to like you. So all you can do is just fucking... If you're a decent person, just keep doing your thing and fuck sickos, man. Oh, yeah, baby.
baby. God damn it, I got a sneeze stuck in my nose. Ah. We've passed the hour mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So we're like we're on an hour and one minute. It's potion time. To change the lighting to be dramatic. <laughs> Oh shit, now we're got the clubbing filter. Yes. <laughs> so messing with my fans right now. <laughs> Some of my fans experiment with drugs <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're responsible with it <laughs> ah demon filter yes yeah potion time hail satan <laughs> happy eastern north motherfuckers Like, don't even get me started on these political issues, dog. Because I'll be here all day fucking bitching your ear out. Sketch? Ah. There we go, there's the club filter. Cause we at the club. <laughs> yes. Shit. <laughs> yes. Bubbles. My bubbles. Uh, really, a Finding Nemo reference? Grab shell, dude. Oh, righteous. Okay, there's the black and white filter. Shoot that one right there. I got different filters for the video. Look, it's black and white. It's all dramatic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs>
Delicious. All, all, all of that aside, all of that aside, YouTube. Forty-five likes. That's what's up. Back to the regular filter. No, but the hypocrisy of social media is so fucking annoying. It really is. I could show you videos on YouTube that are way worse than what I've done, but I don't want my account to be in trouble because I'm pointing out the hypocrisy. So do the research yourself. Potion time. No, oh, look at that. Yeah, good things come to an end eventually. So if you dig this style of content, I want you to do me a favor. Ding the notification bell and subscribe for more content because you want to fight the system and stick it to the man. Subscribe to King Cobra JFS and together Cobra Cult will take down the system and will show the world what's really up. We're going to fight sexism. We're going to fight racism. Empower the people, dude. We're going to fight the system that made us and create our own system. Welcome to the Rebel Revolution. I'll catch you later.